Hello and welcome back to another video. This is a new video on a series I'm going to be making where I will teach people how to build things that they normally don't know how to build or just things to help people improve on their building skills. Now the world that I'm showing right now is just a world where I test different things where I build things that I normally don't know how to build or things I just don't know if they're going to go together and I just put them here and see how well they go together. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a birch tree and it's not too complicated but let's see how the tutorial goes it's this birch tree right here for today's episode i'll be teaching you how to build these trees right here but in other episodes i can teach you guys how to build these trees just make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know so to start with the birch tree what i like to do is i like to put one in the middle and then add some around it so do three by three and then after i do a three by three i take the dirt, coarse dirt, and this is optional. You can use whatever dirt you're using for your build. It doesn't even have to be a birch tree. You could do whatever tree that you think would fit this style. And then I take a pillar from the middle and make sure they're all facing the same direction because sometimes it's hard it's hard to show you, but sometimes they don't place right. But you're gonna want to pillar up however high you want. Oh, and don't do that. So make it straight. Now if you can see on these trees, there's no branches that come out, but you yeah, don't really think you need branches for this type of tree. You can add branches if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. So then what I do after I have this pillar is I will go ahead and go in and take the, see this right here. Don't let this happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and pillar it up to whatever the height is that I need. And what you want to try to avoid is having these the same height. So what I'll do is maybe punch this one, add a slab here to change it up a little bit so that no thing is alike and then I will add fences where I see they will go and fit in yeah okay let's add one here all right and there you have your tree trunk area that should be the easiest part of the tree for you guys to do because it's not too complicated so then now for your next step, what you're going to do is you're going to go and find where you want your tree to start. So I'm going to start mine here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a plus pattern, but leave the trunk in the middle. And then go ahead and place these wherever you want. I'm going to do every two. Okay, and then at the top here, what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up two or three blocks. I'm going to do three for mine, and then I'm just going to stack these up to make it like a little bit of a peak at the top. Now you can make yours more if you want it to. I'm going to go one more just to make it look better. <clears throat> and so now that you have these every two, you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to move these around to give it like added depth if that makes sense you can leave some of them if you want them to be that way but you make your tree how you want your tree to look <laughs> all right so there i have my tree beginnings now another tip for a tree is you want to make the leaves thinner towards the top than they are at the bottom so if you see right here how you can see through it a lot more than you can at the bottom section you want that another tip is I see a lot of people want their trees to be seen, like you want light to shine through the trees. You can do that if you want to, but it also depends on where you're putting this. This one doesn't have as much light as this one does, but this one also doesn't have that much light to begin with. So back to the tree. Now that you have this design, what I would consider doing is adding in the bit, the corner bits, okay? So you could add these wherever you want. You don't have to add the corner bits if you don't want to. I'm just gonna add a little bit of them now that you have your corners in that you think are good you're going to take some droopy down bits so i like to start more at the bottom because when i start doing trees i kind of get too much leaves in it so what you're going to do is you're going to do two blocks down majority of the time you don't have to do two every single time because it could look weird so i'm going to do that Right here, I'm going to do one because I don't want it to block this because if so, then it just looks 
kind of weird. And then also, if you have bits like this, but you don't know what to do with them, you can take some of these leaves out and move them around to make them look better, but we will get more into that in a little bit. Alright, so back to what I was saying with the uh, beginnings of a tree. You want to make the top more thin, so I'm not going to add that many leaves, but I am going to make sure that the trunk is still a little hidden, because you don't want people to be seeing the trunk as much. Alright. So now you should have those droopy bits. It looks a little weird right now, but we just need to bulk up the bottom and then thin it up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add more leaves here in this section and then kind of thin them out at the top. And for placing the leaves down, you just want to place them wherever you think that they would go. There's no real set pattern. You just got to keep placing them. Now, this is like the hardest part that people find when building a tree but you just got to commit to it and make it look good. Another thing that will help you is leave some of the trunk sticking out, but don't leave huge sections like this because then it just makes the tree feel, uh, feel a little bald. Also, another thing when building pokey outfits is try not to have big flat areas like right here. The tree is kind of flat, so maybe I want to add a little bit of an area that pokes out here and droops down. And that will break up the section and make it look less weird. Another thing that you guys want to try to avoid is doing the staircase. So this one right here kind of has that effect, but it doesn't have a block in the back here. But what I see a lot on some people's trees is they do something sort of like this. You want to try to avoid that. So maybe move one of them back or make this taller and then just attach like something on top. You want to try to avoid the staircase because it just makes it look weird in a sense. So now that you have thickened up the leaves on the tree, you're going to want to go through and add your little details. So things that you want to fix. So what I like to do is I like to look at the tree from different angles. So down here, that top bit right there could be fixed a little bit. It looks a little weird. And then I still need to bulk down the bottom area. So what you're going to do is look at this from different angles to see, because you never know where people are going to look at it from. From the top, it looks fine. I just think I need more leaves down there. So I'm going to go ahead and add those bits. Now that you have your tree in a spot that you like, what you want to do is make sure that you have bits that are diagonal poking out. Because if you look on my tree, most of mine just poke out from these flat edges. So what you're going to want to do is maybe add some bits on the corners to give it a little bit more movement, if that makes sense. Because people want to be able to like see the tree from any angle so that it looks like it has movement and there's stuff going on. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of these corner sections here just to mix it up a little bit. And some of them don't have to be connected, like this one right here could be a little fixed right here in this corner attached to this leaf, but I don't think anybody's really going to look at that from the bottom. And as you add more corner bits, it will slowly come together, like just those few that I put already make it look so much better. Another thing that I would try to avoid with the corner bits is dragging them down too far. What I try to do with my corner bits is do one. But I say, like, if you're doing a bigger tree, one that's taller than this, I would add a little bit of this just to show that the leaves are big and they're drooping down. But we're so close to the top of the tree that I don't really think that's going to matter. I think that is a completed leaf part of the tree. So you can add more to it. Personally, this tree could use a little more work, but it does what it needs to teach you. It looks like it's part of these trees so now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding like the smaller details so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add buttons for the little spiral part of the tree now what you want to try to avoid with this is putting the same but like two buttons on the same because it just looks weird <clears throat> so what I try to do is have one on every side 
And then if you haven't already done the slabs and the birch fences, you can go ahead and do that now that your tree is almost complete. You can add them where you think they need to go. <clears throat> and then another thing, if you're going to be using the structure block to clone this around, I would suggest moving the block that you used here at the bottom. For mine, I used coarse dirt. And look how you have the tree shape. So this right here is the flat bit, but there's leaves that poke out. So I'm going to add a extra section of dirt there so that when I copy this with the structure block, it copies this and not just a random stretch of dirt. All right, and I think that's it. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is add a little bit of pokey out bits that don't fit within the square. I try to keep it in the square as much as possible. But if you have bits that poke out, try to only have a few of them just to add a little bit more of like a movement to your build. So what I could do is remove, okay, let me fix this. I could remove that and that could change the bottom of the tree. I could remove this and that could change that portion of the tree. There is how you build a tree. I will do tutorials for the other ones if you guys like this video. I will also be teaching you guys how to build houses and terraform. Just anything that you guys have questions about building leave them in the comments and i will try my best to see if i could teach you guys how to build any questions about this let me know and i could help you so yeah